Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's mind tree interview experience. As many of you requested me previously that I should post more mind tree videos, whether they are interviews or whether they are coding questions. So, guys, for those students, I want to tell you that. See, on my channel, I have already posted lot of interview experiences on mind tree as well as coding questions have also been posted on this uh, channel. The playlist you can find all these videos under this playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure to visit it and watch all the videos related to mind tree. And guys, make sure that you watch uh, you are watching this video till the end because there are many questions which are asked in this interview which can help you to clear your interviews also. Guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it as well as join our telegram groups also. I am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions we are getting asked in them. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel and join telegram groups. The links are in the description box. Okay, so as the date of the interview was 14th March 2022, that is today only. The branch of my friend was ECE. The duration of the entire interview was 20 minutes. The first question that was asked was, what is your preferred language? Guys, in many of the interviews, the first question that is asked from you is tell me about yourself. But there are some cases where they directly jump onto the main topic of the interview. They start just they just start by asking technical questions. So don't so don't worry. Keep your mind open and op you should be open for all the questions which are coming your way. So in this interview, the first question that was asked was what is your preferred language? So my friend said JavaScript. So he knew, he knew uh, JavaScript very well. So he said that his preferred language is JavaScript. But again, you can also tell C++, Java, Python, any language which you are comfortable with, you can tell to the interviewer and he will start asking you questions related to that language. So my friend said JavaScript is his uh, preferred language. Now, next question was, what is a null pointer? So guys, a null pointer is nothing, but it is a simple pointer that is that is not pointing to any memory location. A null pointer is a pointer that does not point to any memory location. So we can simply declare a null pointer uh, as in like, uh, let's suppose we have a link list of uh, link list of class list node. So what we can do, we can simply do list node start temp is equal to null. We can declare it like this. So it is a null pointer. Here temp is a null pointer. That is the pointer that is not pointing to any memory location is known as a null pointer. So I hope this question is clear to you. Next is what is the difference between variable let and constant. So guys, if you have studied JavaScript, then only you will be able to answer these questions because the uh, because this is the syntax of JavaScript only. So the difference between constant and let keyword is that see in uh, if you declare a variable as constant, then you can only assign a value to a variable once. But if you have declared a variable with let keyword, then it allows you to reassign after it has been assigned. So let's just see with an example. So I do not know the syntax exactly, but, uh, but, but I'm just giving you the jinx, uh, jinx of it. So let's suppose we have declared a variable constant. Let's suppose constant a is equal to 15. Let's suppose this is the uh, variable value that we have given to constant a. Now we cannot do like this. A is equal to 16. We cannot do like this. This will be wrong if it is a constant variable. So this will be the wrong thing to do. A is equal to 16. Now, similarly, if we declare a variable with let keyword, so let's suppose let a is equal to 15. Let's suppose a is equal to 16. Now we can do it like this. A is equal to 17. That is, we can reassign a value. Again, I am not just giving taking one plus. You can only give uh, 78 also. So here you can see that you are you can you are able to reassign the value to the a keyword which was declared as let. So I hope this difference is clear to you. This is the major difference between let and constant keywords. Okay. Now moving to the next question is write a palindrome program. So guys. My friend was asked to share the screen. He was told to op open an online compiler and he was told to write the program. Many in many interviews, they simply uh, just ask you to uh, you can simply to tell the logic to the interviewer or they can ask you to write the code in the chat window. So uh, this is simple. He was asked to share the screen, uh, write the co uh, question on the compiler and run it. So I hope this question is clear to you. You can for your reference. I have written this code. You can simply take a screenshot for the same okay so this was the question write a palindrome program so i hope this is clear to you next is explain oops concept so guys out of 10 uh, out of uh, 9 out of 10 interviews this particular question is asked that is explain oops concept explain four pillars of oops so for all these questions the answer is same that oops has total four concepts or you can say four pillars 
वन इज एब्सट्रैक्शन इनहेरिटेंस पॉलीमोर्फिजम इनकेप्सुलेशन यू मस्ट नो देर डेफिनेशन विद दे रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल ऑन योर टिप्स एंड इफ यू डू नॉट नो दिस कंसेप्ट I have made a dedicated video on this question that is explaining the four pillars of OOPs, in which I have discussed each and every OOPs concept in detail and how you will have to explain them to the interviewer with the help of real life example. So I hope you will find that video very informative. The link you can always find in the description box as well as in the i button. Okay, so now moving to the last question of this video that is, what is the difference between algorithm and logic? So. the difference is very simple but i want you guys to engage and you, i want you guys to comment down that what do you think is the difference between algorithm and logic so algorithm is a fixed set of instruction that is used to implement a certain thing and logic is the way we are thinking of sol uh, uh, solving a particular problem so this is a difference but again there can be many points of difference between algorithm and logic so guys kindly comment down uh, Write your comments in the comment section that what what are according to you is the difference between algorithm and logic. So guys, these are all the questions which are asked from this candidate in the mind pre interview. If you are preparing and or if your friends are preparing, kindly share this video among your friends and do not forget to uh, visit this playlist wherein you can find many interview experiences as well as many coding questions which were asked in the mind pre exam. So guys, I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you for watching this video.